Okay, now let, let us look at these questions. Determine the magnitude of the gravitational field strength uh, at a point 5,000 km above the Earth's surface. Okay, and then on the Earth's surface. Okay, given the mass of Earth, radius of Earth. Okay, so what the question asks for, the question asks for gravitational field strength. Gravitational field strength is not the gravitational force. Huh? It's not the gravitational force. Uh, gravitational field. Look at the word field. Uh, field strength. Okay, the field, uh, this one is actually the acceleration due to gravity, uh, AG. Acceleration due to gravity, gravitational field strength. Okay, uh, so what's the formula for gravitational field strength? Uh, gravitational field strength uh, is AG. Yeah, uh, it is GM over R square. Uh, compared to gravitational force, gravitational force, we have two mass, two masses. GMM over R square, but for AG, gravitational field strength only have one mass, which is the point mass. Okay, uh, it is the uh, point mass, uh, only one mass. So GM over R square. That's our formula. Okay, so let's write down our formula there. Uh, okay, uh, question A. Okay. Uh, our formula of uh, gravitational field strength is AG, GM over R square. Uh, another thing is about the R, the distance here, R is uh, uh, from, from the center of Earth. Uh, from the center of Earth. So that means you must use a radius of Earth plus altitude. Uh, okay, so the R here is radius of earth plus altitude uh, be careful with that yeah so uh, and uh, this one is the point mass remember yeah the point mass a uh, point mass is the uh, point mass is actually the provider of mass a uh, provider of field it is the provide provider of field ah uh, okay just like the earth he provide the field uh, around it. Uh, yeah? uh, it is the earth who provide the gravitational field. Without the earth, there's no gravitational field. Okay? Uh, so, this one we use point mass. This is the point mass who provide. Yeah? Uh, what I can say is mass of earth which provide, uh, provide uh, this it is the point mass who provide the gravitational field strength at the first place. Okay, uh, it's a provider of the field. So without the point mass, there's no gravitational field strength. Okay, so okay, we are clear now. Let's let's use the formula. Okay, so uh, g is the gravitational constant. What's the value? G value is a uh, gravitational constant or called universal constant. It has a 6.67 exponent negative 11. Okay, uh, this will be provided in the as, uh, list of uh, constant. So don't worry. Okay, 6.67 negative 11. So write that down. 6.67 exponent negative 11. Uh, and then mass of earth. So uh, using mass of earth, the provider of the field, the point mass. Okay. It's a 5.98 uh, exponent uh, 24. Uh, okay. And then divided by what is the distance between uh, distance from the center of Earth? So it's the radius of Earth plus altitude. Okay. So this 5000 kilometer, it is actually the, it is actually the H. Uh, and somehow it is kilometer, so you have to change. You have to change to meter. So, uh, okay, so radius of Earth, yeah? Radius of Earth, okay? What is radius of Earth? Uh, 6.38. 6.38 exponent 6, okay? Plus, that's, that's the radius of Earth. And then, how about the altitude? Altitude, he said above the surface, you see? Above the surface. Uh, surface uh? so above the surface so that means this is the altitude 
5,000 kilometer. So I need to change it to meter. So it's 5,000 kilo. Uh, you have the kilo. So kilo is exponent 3. Uh, exponent 3. So meter. Okay. Uh, so uh, I forget the square. You see that? Uh, this is the thing always students forget. The square. Uh, they happily write down the distance already and then forget the square uh, yeah, at last. So very care very careless. Uh, very careless if you forget the square. Okay? Many students forget the square. Okay, so now let's calculate. Let's calculate the answer. Yeah. Okay, so what answer do I get? Okay, what answer do I get? So I get uh 3.08 uh, 3.08 uh, meter per second square or you can write as a uh, newton per kilogram uh, okay so is my answer correct okay uh, uh, you, you know why newton per kilogram because uh, ag is also force of gravity divided by test mass uh, so it's that's why it's newton per kilogram okay uh, newton per kilogram or uh, this also called okay uh, it also has the formula meter per second square uh, because uh, you know because this is the acceleration due to gravity uh, acceleration uh, due to gravity Ah, acceleration due to gravity so it has also the form the unit meter per second square or gravitational field strength gravitational field strength the unit is newton per kilogram so you can either put meter per second square or newton per kilogram uh, both accepted okay so the answer is 3.08 meter per second square that's correct uh, that's correct okay so now let's look at the b question b on the earth surface uh, on the earth surface so uh, yeah on the earth surface uh, if on the earth surface that means the r is only the radius of earth okay uh, on earth surface that means the r is only radius of earth okay uh, uh, there's no h h is zero okay so uh, acceleration due to gravity is gm over radius eh, over r square just write r square first okay uh, but this time uh, is uh, gm okay this is mass of the the point mass and our r is only the radius of earth okay because on the surface okay because it's on the on the surface of earth okay so the r is only the radius of earth okay so uh, let's calculate yeah let's calculate normally actually this uh, if radius of earth this a is actually equal to g uh, we uh, we as, we as uh, can estimate it is equal to value of g, which is around nine point eight one. So let's check and see whether it is uh, g or not. Okay, let's calculate. Huh? Uh, our g value is just now six point six seven negative eleven. So substitute that down. Six point six seven exponent negative eleven. What is our mass of Earth? Mass of Earth is uh, five point nine eight twenty four. Uh, 5.9824 okay and our radius of earth what is our radius of earth our radius of earth is 6.38 question uh, exponent 6 6386 uh, 6.38 exponent 6 uh, remember the square it yeah remember the square always student forget the square let's calculate the answer yeah ha huh. so i get the answer is uh 9 uh 9. uh 80 huh? 799 so that means that is 9.80 meter per second uh meter per second square or you can write as newton per kilogram uh yeah so uh is the answer correct okay uh, nine point eight zero. That's correct. Okay, that's correct. Uh, so uh, it's uh, uh nine point eight zero into per second square. So it's uh near to our assumption nine point eight one. Yeah, on the Earth's surface. 
Uh, this is our the gravity we experience right now living on on the Earth's surface. Okay, uh, living on the Earth's surface. So uh, if you compare to uh, five thousand kilometer above the Earth's surface, where the gravity is just three point zero eight, okay, uh, the gravity at the surface is actually the maximum. Ah, uh, you see that. Uh, so on the Earth's surface, on the Earth's surface, actually it has the maximum uh, uh, gravity. It has the maximum gravity, uh, nine point eight zero. Okay, as you go higher and higher, go higher and higher, the gravity drop. You see that it drop from nine point eight zero drop to three point zero eight. Uh, so on the Earth's surface, it actually has the maximum gravity. Okay, thank you.